I always wanted to have a local speaker that can announce text-to-speech messages configured in my Home Assistant automations. Until now, I used Alexa, but this Home Assistant integration is far from perfect. I either have to re-authenticate very often or I have to pay for the Home Assistant Nabucasa cloud service. If you have a Google Smart Speakers instead of Alexa, the situation there is not much different because that is cloud and I don't want to use cloud for my personal announcements. I actually don't want to use cloud at all, of course, when that is possible. That is why I got very interested when I heard about that first hackable speaker called ESP Muse Lux. This speaker is having an ESP32 chip inside, which means you can easily install a custom firmware on it. The ESP Muse Lux, also known as the first ESP32 portable Bluetooth speaker, is also having an onboard microphone, rechargeable battery, 3.5mm line jack input and two 5 watts stereo speakers. Quick side note, if you want to get a smart home glossary that is full of smart home acronyms and abbreviations and their respective description, check my website automatelike.pro slash glossary. Go there and download that glossary absolutely for free. Now, back to the ESP Muse Lux. In the official ESP Muse Lux website, you can find a pretty good karate based explanation telling you what are the possible ways to use the local ESP32 Bluetooth speaker. If you have a white belt or you don't care too much, you can use the ESP Muse Lux as a normal Bluetooth speaker and to listen some music everywhere you want which is kind of nothing special. But if you have a yellow belt, or in other words, you like to customize your devices, you can download a custom app from the official raspiaudio.com website. And lastly, if you are a Tinkerer Ninja with black belt, you can make and program your own application with the Arduino IDE and you can upload it on the speaker. In this video, we are going to flash a ready-to-use firmware on the ESP Muse Lux very easily using only a web browser and a USB cable. So, we are going to try a variation of the yellow belt option. Before I flash the custom firmware on the ESP Muse Lux, which again is very easy, as you will see in the moment, I just want to quickly show you the speaker from a closer view. This is the actual speaker. On the top we have three buttons, plus, minus, play. This is the microphone and this is a programmable LED light. On the back we have an on off button right here, audio input, charging port which is micro USB and a LED next to him. This is a groove extension port and this is a micro SD card. Inside we have two speakers. I'll power it on right now. It comes with this micro USB cable. I'll plug this one here. And the other end I'll plug it into my laptop. I'm using this USB A to USB C adapter. And if I turn it on from here, Bluetooth. If you want to buy the same hackable speaker, you can check the links in the video description. As you can see, the LED is blinking in blue. This LED is also turned on. And now it is in pairing mode. You can pair it as a regular Bluetooth speaker. Enough beauty shots. Let's get to action. I will use a micro USB cable and a Chrome browser, as the easy method that I'm going to show you is requiring Chrome or Edge browsers. I'll open a new Chrome browser window and I'll paste the following URL esphome.github.io media players and I'll hit enter. This is the page where the flashing is actually happening. At the moment, there are four devices that are supported ESP Muse Lux. ESP Muse Proto and M5 Stacks. 
No matter what is your belt at the moment, show yourself in the comments. What are you currently using to announce your text-to-speech messages from your Home Assistant automations? Or are you using such announcements at all? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, let's make the ESP Muse looks one very useful speaker for any smart home. Have in mind that there is another page, SqueezeLight ESP32 firmware, on which you can flash your device as well. And again, you can add it in your Home Assistant as media player, but I'll prefer this method, this firmware, which is actually installing ESP Home on the device with the correct configuration, so everything is ready to be used. I'll select my device, ESP Muse Lux, and I'll click Connect. And this is my device, USB to UART. If you don't see your device here for some reason, please double check your micro USB cable. Your micro USB cable should be a data cable and not only charging cable. Also, if you click Cancel, you can see this dialog from where you can download drivers for Windows and Mac. Please download this first driver if there is some issues with finding your device. I'll cancel this and I'll click Connect again. And I'll select this USB to UART and I'll click Connect. I have this dialog with two options, Install Raspi Audio, Muse Looks and Locks and Console. I'll click the first one. Do you want to install Raspi Audio Muse Looks? All existing data will be erased from your device. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I'll click Install. The erasing is started. Do not close this window during the flashing process and don't even minimize it because it may slow down the flashing process. Installation is complete. I can click Next. Configure Wi-Fi. I have to select my Wi-Fi here. And I'll enter my Wi-Fi password here. Connect. Device is connected to the network. And now I can add it to Home Assistant. The ESP Muse Lux is now ready to be used. Let's add it to Home Assistant now. Ok, let's try this. I'll enter my local Home Assistant IP right here. And the port, which by default is 8123, and I'll click Save. Open link. I have to authenticate. If you already configured this My Home Assistant link, these last two options will not be offered to you at all. I'll click Login. Do you want to set up ESP Home? I'll click OK. And this is my device, Raspi Audio, Muse Looks, and some characters. I'll click on it. Submit. Finish. And now I have ESP Muse Looks in Home Assistant. I can click on it. One device. One beautiful device. It also has some controls. It also has some sensors. This is the firmware. And this is the logbook. I can create automation scenes and scripts from these buttons right here. And I can add these controls to my dashboard. This is how the cart will look like. I'll click Add to Dashboard. And this is it. Let's quickly test if the ESP Muse Lux is working as expected inside Home Assistant. After that, I will make a Home Assistant automation demo. If I click on these play buttons right here, I can play any local media or even online radio and I can test the text-to-speech option. Hello, Kirill. You can play any text on any supported media player. Very good! Let's test one more thing. For example, Radio Browser, Popular, Radio Paradise. Wounded. It's working! It and it is quite loud, I must say. So far, so good! The ESP Muse looks can be used in any Home Assistant automation from now on. And the best of all, everything is local. That means nor Amazon, nor Google, nor someone else will know when your Home Assistant automations are executed and what you are actually announcing. 
Let's see an ESP Muse Looks Home Assistant demo automation. My Home Assistant automation will be the following. When I return back home, I want to hear an announcement from the ESP Muse Looks that greets me. I'll press the C button to invoke this search bar and I'll start typing automations and I'll navigate to automations. I'll click on create automation, I'll start with an empty automation. The name of the automation will be greetings when I return home. Of course the name of the automation is not important, you can choose whatever you wish. The trigger will be state. The entity will be my person, person Kiryu, here it is. And when the state of person Kiryu becomes home, start this action. The action will be call service, the service will be TTS, coming from text to speech, Google Translate say. The entity will be my media player, Raspi Audio Muse Looks. And the message will be Welcome home Kiryu. I can even enable a cache of this message and I can change the language. But I won't do that and I'll just click save. Before testing this whole automation, I can test only the actions part by clicking on this three dots menu. Run action. Welcome home Kiryu. Good. It is working. Now let's make an end-to-end -end test. I'll open the developer tools in a new tab. I'll go to the states. I'll search for person Kiryu. Here it is. Currently the state is not home and I'll change this to home, simulating that I'm returning back home. And I will just press the set state button. Welcome home Kiryu. And the automation is immediately triggered. Everything is working as expected. Great! One important remark here. If you want to have such a functionality and not only that in your home, but you still don't have a home assistant, I'm here to help. As I'm having a free home assistant webinar where I'm talking about what are the possible options to get home assistant. Check the webinar on my website automatelike.pro slash webinar. And in around 45 minutes, you will know everything that is needed to get started and to make your home a real smart home. I will see you next Wednesday when I release my new video and article and as usual, they will be smart home related. I'm Kiryu and I'm done speaking. Bye!